Biodiversity represents everything that lives on Earth. It is the fruit of billions of years of evolution, shaped by natural processes and increasingly by the influence of humans. So far, about 1.75 million species have been identified, but scientists believe there could be 13 million species living on our planet. Biodiversity is life. It heals us, as more than 70,000 plant and tree species on Earth are used in medicine. It gives us shelter. Without wood, we couldn't build houses, furniture or tools. Biodiversity feeds us and clothes us. The consumption patterns of people in rich countries are the principal cause of biodiversity loss. The rapid loss of the Earth's species is estimated to be between 1,000 and 10,000 times higher than the natural extinction rate. Today, our planet hosts 7 billion people. We need to preserve biodiversity so that it can meet the needs of 9 billion of us in 2050. The UN Convention on Biological Diversity aims to provide a framework to address the promotion and protection of biodiversity as a source of goods and services essential to life. The effect of human activities magnified in recent years by population growth and global climate change has greatly reduced biodiversity in ecosystems around the world. One way each of us can contribute to foster biodiversity is to choose a more sustainable lifestyle. Education can help us recognize that our individual actions, as harmless as they can appear, can have global ramifications. We need to learn that we are all part of a web of life. When one species disappears, others are at risk of disappearing as a result. We need to empower our children and youth today to help foster biodiversity tomorrow. But how? Let's take the example of a group of secondary students that goes to observe what remains of the forest in a protected area. After learning firsthand about the importance of forests, students discuss the reasons for deforestation and its effects on the livelihoods of communities, as well as on climate and other natural hazards. They then develop a list of simple actions to help restore the forest and better manage it through actions they can take at school and at home. To communicate these actions to other schools and within the community, they animate a community radio program to encourage replanting trees and other plants in their area. During community festivities, they organize role-playing activities to raise awareness of the various aspects of preservation, as well as the use and promotion of the resources within protected areas. Protecting our planet is in our hands, and it is education that can help us act today.